I think I'm just gonna scratch the last vlog. Okay. Are you ready to go? You're going the wrong way. Gold sandals. They might be in the car. I think they might be in that wagon because she wore them to the racetrack. And you got your shoes off again. I called and I thought we was going bye bye. We're going bring her. Come on. Come get your shoes back on again. Third time. Oh, that sun. Goodness, she got in her eyes. Let's ride, sister. We're not riding this. We're going in the car. I'm going bye bye to get bye bites. Yes, we'll ride this later, I promise. Now, are you ready to ride? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Just All right, guys, I just wanted to show you this because I think this might be one of my favorite color combos. This is a shirt you can get on our website now. I love it. I think it might be one of my favorites ever, especially for fall. So that, I just wanted to show you guys that. That one's Bella Canvas too. Yeah, this is the Bella Canvas t-shirt brand. Life is good. Very soft, but the color combo for fall, I'm digging it. It's got hippie vibes. Y'all, she's stirring around. I feel like her baby's going down. No, I seen it like yesterday. Oh, she was. Okay. Yeah, and the little spot is getting bigger Mama. now. So should I cut the last vlog? We'll keep some of it in there. There's a few little cute things in there, so we'll keep some. Good morning. Was that a big cheese? You don't need no more blueberries. You have eaten a ton. What's that? You guys, of course, I've got a pumpkin tart going. And this for fall. Not yet. The sun's not even in the yard yet. The grass is still wet and cold. He's ready to go outside. It's early and he just got done with breakfast, but the sun has not even hit our yard wet yet and I cut the grass yesterday, so give me that. Give me that. Oh, oh, careful. Give me this. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, blueberries all over your mouth too? Um, wow, is your hair looking pretty cool? We you Did you bake you a car? Oh, oh, oh man. Yeah, he's mixing stuff up in his bowl. Say hi, mom. Uh, yeah, are you baking a cake? Uh, uh, were you yeah. you cooking a car up? Do yeah. All right. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Is that Nami? Am I guilty of not filming a lot this week? I sure am. Lori's been off for family reasons, so I've been picking up the slack down here at the shop. When I put my efforts into this, I put it in wholeheartedly. I mean, you can tell by the quality of these prints. Like this. Yeah. Any of these you can find on our YouTube store. Just go to our channel. And then over towards the right, up there where the community feed and everything is. Is our store, or you can go to hibbleysapparel.com. But I've took this week to kind of get rid of some of the dead work and these little projects I needed between printing. I've been calibrating this machine to the way I like it. About got it dialed in. It's about ready to start running shirts. And then we'll have two, which I'll get to in a little bit. But I also hooked up this dandy little thermal printer for our labels. This thing's quick and it's actually going to save us a whole lot of money because of the it doesn't use ink cartridge. But then I also don't notice if any of y'all remember in the last video if you didn't see it you can go check it out right here or you could just finish this one and then go watch it. That's an idea. My little springy heat press. It turns out the thing that holds the spring in place and the spring both broke. That was just too dangerous. But thankfully, Mom had had one she bought right before she shut down her business in town. 
She's gonna be doing her printing over here, so we brought it over. Got this nice auto pop now. We didn't think it worked, but it was just something into the settings that we had messed up. We got it straightened out. I ran it all day just to see if it'd kick on and off, because that's what it was doing, but it's staying on, it's working, it's popping on its own. So that's gonna help us out a whole lot. But now on to the point of the two printers. These and Lori, man, that girl, compress some shirts out of here. She's doing phenomenal. Yeah, we're still having a little hiccup here and there with back orders, but it's, it's what it is anymore. Guys, we're seriously thinking about starting doing custom work. Not only just offering the shirts that we pick out on our website, and I'm talking about going into custom work. If, you know, you need something for a family reunion, your business, your farm, kid's birthday or something like that. Now you would have to give us plenty of time up front, but I'm not starting it just yet. This is gonna be something that'll take probably a few weeks to get in place. I'm gonna create an email just for that or figure out how I can incorporate it onto my website. Just have a buy button for custom. Now I will have a set price for just, you know, one or two shirts, but you know, if you get to where you want in a lot of shirts, then, you know, we'll call, talk to each other, we'll come up with a good price, I'll find out how many you need, I'll crunch some numbers, and we'll go from there. But I really want to start getting into custom work, because that's what we always done anyway. Mom's store was always a custom store. It's nice to be able to provide a service other than just making a shirt that you like, that you think other people will like, but, you know, you to be able to tell me, hey, can you do this on a shirt for me? And I'm like, I got you. Now the print off of these direct to garment, you want a shirt that's gonna last a long time. That ink stays on these shirts up to 250 washes. Now if you think about it, you wash a shirt and wear it once a week, you're talking about having that shirt with a print on it for around five years. Once it's on, it's on. Once I press that, it's there. So if you're wanting something for your business, I can do full colored logos. Like I can get into extreme details. Your imagination is the limit. Just look at the fine details in this shirt if you'll focus. Yeah, there we go. You can see those fine details this printer will do. And the color range is great too. Comment what you think if you would like to have us do your shirts for anything. You guys, I cut the grass yesterday now mind you i used to do it all the time love cutting grass actually but i have not cut it since i got pregnant with colton it's been like four years <laughs> sean does all that but yesterday it was nice out and i was like i want to get a workout that's usually why i like cutting grass it's peaceful and it gives me some exercise well i think i done pretty good job I am proud of my first grass cutting, you guys, in like four years. Yay me. Look at my battle wound. You see it? I don't know if you guys can see it. I didn't even realize I was sweating so much that my hands were soaked and pushing and pulling on the lawnmower. Yeah, I have a huge blister on my thumb. I'm proud of that blister. But because I've been complaining that my, my muscles are short, Sean is like, no, you're not cutting the grass anymore. I knew I was going to hear it. I'm not allowed to complain at all because I had to talk him into letting me do it. He did not want to let me cut the grass. And he's like, okay, fine. You can cut it, but cut it the way I like it. He does it in a particular direction. He says he has the grass trained. Uh-huh, the grass trained whatever so sean took the kids he got home from work about an hour ago we ate and he took the kids i brought them up to the trampoline came back down here and boom i hear the side by side starting up and he's got colton buckled in chloe buckled in his lap i think he's just taking them down the holler and back here they come did you ride down the holler is it a good time cc do you have a good time I was telling him about how beautiful the grass looks since I cut it. I'm not gonna hear the end of this. I'm sore too. <laughs> you wanna ride with us a trip? He wants more. Not really. There's all three dogs are out here. Oh. He's wanting more. Tell mama more. Is that right? Snickers, brownie blizzard, a hot Coco Oreo Blizzard, a Reese's Take Five, and a very cherry chip. Then they got a caramel mocha chip shake, caramel brownie cup of perfection. 
what do you think? Right, would you get that out of my face? <laughs> I want an ice cream. I told you what I wanted. I, what you Peanut want? butter milk. Ooh, they got pumpkin pie. I knew it. I knew okay, it. Okay, I want the pumpkin yeah, pie. Honey? Yeah, hold on one second. It's hey, a pumpkin hey, pie. Hey, listen, we got two blizzards, and I'm keeping my eye on. If they don't flip them upside down, it's free. I bet y'all didn't know that. <laughs> y'all know Dairy, Qu Dairy Queen's thing. They have to turn the blizzards upside down. Yeah, I think you get, do you get them free? Yeah, if they don't if flip they, it upside down, you're supposed to get it free. So he says. That's what they know. say. Are you ready for your milkshake? Yeah. Are you ready for no, your milkshake? Okay. Yay! Yeah. There is the pumpkin pie blizzard from Dairy Queen. It's okay. It's definitely not my favorite pumpkin anything. Tis the season for everything pumpkin. How am I supposed Fall to do this? Alone. She's like, let's drive around, but I'm sitting here like. What'd you get? Uh. Hot cocoa Oreo. You tried it? <laughs> Good. Tastes like hot cocoa. It's out on your teeth, ain't it? It's ugly looking spider thing. You see it? You see it, bud? <laughs> oh, man. All right, who's going to get it? <laughs> you again. Who's going to get it this time? <laughs> <laughs> now what? <laughs> hey, it's his turn, don't you think of it? Oh, oh my gosh, its leg fell off? Daddy, she found a piece of the spider leg. Where'd you find it? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Where'd you find this, Cece? Oh no. Give it to Daddy. Take it to Daddy. Hey. Here, Daddy, Hiya. she's giving Hiya. you a spider. Family time. You don't seem too enthused. Are we having issues? I think it's your hair causing it. Come home, getting ready to throw some spaghetti on. Y'all, I ain't gonna go through a whole cooking video for spaghetti because it's it's just pretty simple. I just throw a couple cans of sauce, a can of diced tomatoes, a can of mushrooms, and some garlic salt. And then I shred a little mozzarella cheese and cover some Texas toast in butter. Bake it in the old oven there, make some garlic bread. I skipped lunch today, worked on through, and then I was sitting there and it was like three, about four o'clock. I'm like, man, I'm hungry. I was like, I'm going home. I'm chilling with the family. She has no idea. Are you not comfortable in your own skin today? I'm nice and <laughs> Hey, don't ignore me. What are you doing? You watching cartoons? Seems like Sissy's having some issues. Hey, Miner. Jeez. <laughs> and now on with the spaghetti, because like I said, I am hungry. Very hungry. Now, here's one thing I will share with you how we make our homemade garlic bread around here. Check this out. You just melt you some butter, add you some garlic powder in with it, and start brushing it on the bread. And once you get the first side done, just Flip it over, then a little light coat on the top side. Then just take you some shredded mozzarella, cover the tops of your bread up. Now trust me, it's gonna be better than that stuff you buy at the store. Then you just take it and throw it in a preheated oven at 325. Then let it bake till the cheese is all melty and a little bit of brown on top. Wait and see y'all. Was this some kind of mess hack or something? Yes, it is. It's called, I don't want my rug ruined by spaghetti sauce. Is that Nami, buddy? Okay. Daddy. Is it good? Daddy. Oh, okay. You want me to sit down and eat? There is the cheesy garlic toast. Pretty good. It's better than that Pepperidge Farm stuff you buy. I can guarantee you that.
Like, why do you sniff everything? Richard smells good. Yeah. She's a sniffer, y'all. I am a sniffer. She sniffs of the kids' feet. See, your mom's a sniffer. They made fun of me up in Michigan because I picked a tomato and smelled it. I said, if it don't smell good, they said, what does this you smell tomato, of a tomato smell like? Yep. But a tomato really don't. I bet you're a good fart sniffer too, ain't you? No, I'm not. I'll pass on that. I'll sniff a lot of things to make sure it smells good, but not that. So this may or may not be me in a nutshell. Yeah, there's toast sitting on the dryer. In my defense, I was throwing it away. The kids started getting wild. I had to kind of go referee them for a minute and just completely forgot it was there. And little mama come up and was like, why is there toast sitting on the dryer? That's where it's at. My mama heart can't take it. Wow, look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. Sissy looks so fancy, don't her? You look so beautiful. Oh, Bubba, yours looks just awesome too. Sean's aunt set that up here. It was too small for her granddaughter now, so she passed it on to us. We don't do pageants or anything like that, so I was like, I'll just put her in it for a little while, let her prance around with her fingernail polish and her dress, and she just looks adorable. Well, now that we're all caught up, mm -hmm. have y'all noticed every time we do a video, she's always eating? You don't know what territory you're stepping into. Like you and your three uh, junior bacon cheeseburgers. I don't know where she puts it. Those were yours. I have a See, picture she's still of you on Facebook and three hot dogs. So that was the hot dogs, not the junior bacon you eat cheeseburgers. You everything in Trinity. Oh, yeah. Is that nummy, Cece? Is that good, buddy? <laughs> so here lately, I've been super hung up on salads. Because I've rubbed off on you. You've not rubbed off on me. I've rubbed off on you. Mm. Y'all, those are amazing. The rattlesnake bites are so good. So if you come to the roadhouse, do not skip on them. Especially if you like something a little spicy, but not extremely. Yeah, they're, mm. they got jalapeno oil in my face. Um, cheese balls. Mm. They're so Colton good. just had one, so they're not bad. He's still eating. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yum. You munching on the ribs, ain't you? Always. Don't film me in my shame right now. We'll roll in it. What I are am we doing? rolling in it. I always eat too many rolls. She got me uncomfortable now. <laughs> like I got this sideward it's lean the... going on. I'm pretty sure my pants may or may not be unbuttoned. It's the bread. I'm telling you, we got to cut the rolls out. If we just eat our meal, it'd be okay. But it's them. Roadhouse has got some thick dense, delicious, heavy oh, rolls. So but two good. of them, you're like, you're almost full. What are we doing? I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. Listen, figuring out as we go leads to me going home and taking a nap right now. I'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> this is the part they love, you guys. Ready? <laughs> Mama, you ain't gonna do it. Watch, I bet Chloe will. <laughs> He's like, mm -hmm. camera's all in his mouth. All right, sister, here I come. Oh no, where's she go? Oh no! Hey girl! Oh, Ready? No. Get her! Get her clean! Get her clean! Oh y'all are just putting on for the camera! <laughs> <laughs> How'd I figure we was going to end up in here? I'm just looking. Yeah, yeah, you want that's that fall our, decoration. That's, you, I'm just getting ideas. Yeah, I, I can do it cheaper I, at the dollar store. <laughs> Sick as she seen this sign, she was already saying I ain't even been to that sign. Oh, no, it's on everything and you've done and pointed it out to me, Bubba. How did we end up in here? There ain't no toys in here. Tell them so you need some toys. Mama got you looking like Bob the Builder, bud. I thought she was like looking at fall decorations. We over here in some Look, kind of we weird birthday this. aisle. Mama, mama, We've been in here. An hour and we've got that. Yeah, and who's got it? Uh huh. What's in well, my bag? I mean, I just thing? figured you would get something. I will quickly abandon that. Oh, you will? Yes. Mama, mama, mama. Is that a good sucker? Oh, no. She's got a hair on it. I got it. Bubba, is that a good sucker? Mm. All right, you guys. I done really good in Hobby Lobby. I got 
a new little flag thing to go outside for my the metal sign I got. It just uh, just the little flag. I don't know, like 12 by 12 or something like that. 50% off, and I got a little blue truck to stake in the yard. Are you okay? I think it's too sweet. And I got a little blue truck to stake below it that has pumpkins in the back that was also 50% off. So I've done really good. I don't know what it is, you guys. I'm just, I don't know if it's the flood and everything that, you know, knowing so many people are struggling. I'm just not in the decorating mood. If you knew me personally in the past, like huge decorator, seasonal. Our house looked like a museum. Yes. This year, for some reason, I, I don't know, when you go through something like that, you just, you know, no water for 16 days, no power for a week, and then you see people you've known all your life struggling. It just kind of puts things in perspective. in perspective for you. Like, it's happy, to, it gives you a good feeling to have all this stuff around, but you know, there's still a lot of people that we can help and still want to help. That Right now, we were talking about this yesterday, everybody's at the phase of their still cleaning up. They're in that middle part. Uh, yeah. Between the clean up and the rebuild. And yeah. they're just kind of like, exhausted. Yeah, exhausted and funds are not there. I don't know, maybe that's what it is this year. I'm just not majorly, like they had a ton of cute stuff. There's a smell over here, everywhere. I don't know if it's from the flood or... It's pretty raw sewage. It's pretty raw smell. It's pure raw sewage. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's from the flood. Don't roll the windows down anymore. It's coming through there. I'm looking at all this stuff and it's cute, but like, I don't need it. It's a waste of money. It really is. It's it, it, Decorations are outrageous. I mean, they just are. Even at 50% off, it's still like, eh. But I guess since the flood and everything, I'm just like, I don't need it. Like, I don't. I don't need it. And that's a good thing. I think that's nothing but a good thing. It's a good wake up call. So this year, I think we'll just be doing minimal decorations. I've, already, I've got a tote of stuff that we've bought over the years. Can't, I don't know where it is. I'll have to dig it out and just use what I've already got. 